The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, featuring an overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite, has appeared on Geekbench. Despite the overclocking, the SOC fell short of breaking the 10,000 mark in multi-core performance. Despite the overclocking, the SOC fell short of breaking the 10,000 mark in multi-core performance. While the Galaxy S25 Ultra won't be the first smartphone to house the Snapdragon 8 Elite, it's expected to be among the earliest flagship devices with an overclocked variant of the chipset. However, recent benchmark results reveal underwhelming performance from this modified processor. Specifically, the overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite powering the Galaxy S25 Ultra achieved a single-core score of 3,049 and a multi-core score of 9,793 on Geekbench. The listing highlights that while the 6-core cluster remains at the stock clock speed of 3.53 GHz, the 2-core cluster has been pushed to 4.47 GHz, up from its standard 4.32 GHz. Although the overclock is relatively modest, it should ideally result in scores exceeding those of top-performing flagship devices with the standard SOC. For example, the Red Magic 10 Pro surpasses 10,000 in multi-core and nearly 3,300 in single-core performance. It's also worth mentioning that the tested device in this benchmark run featured 12 gigs of RAM, whereas Samsung is rumored to offer a 16 gigs of variant. This higher tier model might deliver slightly improved scores, though the difference may not be significant. That said, it's important to remember that the Galaxy S25 series launch is just around the corner, and this benchmark likely reflects an early version of the device. Samsung may still be finalizing optimizations for the overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite The Galaxy S25 series might just bring a life-saving feature that could make it a must-have for safety-conscious users. Let's dive into the details of this groundbreaking addition. A potentially life-saving sensor. Samsung's Galaxy S25 series is rumored to include a car crash detection sensor, a feature designed to assist users during accidents or crashes. While this functionality has been a part of Google Pixel phones, it has yet to make its way into other premium Android devices. Leaked information accessed by Android Authority confirms the presence of this sensor in the Galaxy S25 series. Although Samsung has included similar sensors in previous models, such as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 5, and likely the upcoming Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6, the feature has remained non-functional, awaiting software refinements. Samsung's car crash detection wake-up sensor is a virtual composite sensor that combines data from various physical sensors. Previous One UI updates, such as 5.11, contain traces of code labeled Mocha Mobile, related to starting and stopping the car crash sensor, hinting at its potential functionality. Will it finally be activated? There's optimism that Samsung could activate this feature with the One UI 7.1 update, offering users an added layer of safety. If implemented, the sensor would alert family members or emergency services in the event of an accident, potentially saving lives. While Google's Pixel phones already include car crash detection, Samsung's entry into this space could mark a significant leap for Android users. We'll have to wait for the official launch to confirm whether this feature becomes fully operational. Official details are here and Samsung's next big thing is about to hit. Samsung is entering a critical phase as it prepares for the unveiling of the Galaxy S25 series. A new report suggests that the release date for the Galaxy S25 series has been set for February 7, 2025, following its official launch on January 22, 2025. According to FFN News, Samsung has confirmed that the Galaxy S25 series will be released on February 7, 2025. The devices will be revealed at the Galaxy Unpacked event on January 22 in the United States. The report also mentions that pre-orders for the Galaxy S25 series will run from January 24 to February 3, with early access for pre-order customers beginning on February 4. Samsung is expected to officially launch the Galaxy S25 lineup in South Korea on February 7. This marks a slight delay in availability compared to the Galaxy S24 series, which had an earlier release. Here's what we can expect. The Galaxy S25 series will be unveiled at the Galaxy Unpacked event in San Jose, USA, on January 22, 2025. Pre-orders will be open from January 24 to February 3. Customers who pre-order will get early access starting February 4. The full release of the Galaxy S25 series in Korea is scheduled for February 7, 2025. With the Galaxy S25 series, Samsung aims to strengthen its position in the premium smartphone market. The new devices will feature enhanced AI capabilities, refined designs, and upgraded specifications. Price hike in Korea, 
Due to the ongoing political instability in Korea, the $1 exchange rate has risen above 1,451, which could lead to a price increase for the S25 series in Samsung's home country. Additionally, the cancellation of the Exynos 2500 chipset is expected to impact Samsung's profits as all models will likely be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is manufactured using TSMC's expensive 3 in process node. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be Samsung's most ambitious flagship yet, poised to redefine what we expect from a premium smartphone. With significant upgrades in design, performance, and camera technology, the S25 Ultra is ready to make waves. Let's dive into the rumored specifications that have been buzzing in the tech world. Design Samsung is swapping the traditional aluminum frame for a titanium build, enhancing durability and premium feel. Paired with Corning Gorilla Armor Glass on both front and back, the S25 Ultra also retains its IP68 water and dust resistance. Display Prepare for an immersive experience with a 6.9-inch dynamic LTPO AMOLED 2X panel. With Quad HD Plus resolution, 3120x1440, a pixel density of 505 ppi, and an adaptive refresh rate of 1 to 120 Hz, this display is set to deliver unmatched clarity and smoothness. Performance. At the heart of the S25 Ultra lies the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy chipset. Built on a 3 nm process, it promises next-level performance with a Qualcomm Orion CPU, Hexagon MPU, and an Adreno GPU. Combined with a Snapdragon X80 modem, expect blazing fast connectivity and edge-driven efficiency. Memory and storage options. 12 gigs of RAM slash 256 gigs of storage. 16 gigs of RAM slash 512 gigs of storage. 16 gigs of RAM slash 1 TB storage. Cameras. The S25 Ultra is gunning for the title of the Camera King. Main camera. 200 megapixel sensor with f1.7 aperture, OIS, and adaptive pixel technology. Ultra wide, 50 megapixel with f2.2 aperture. Telephoto. 10 megapixel, 3x optical zoom, OIS. 50 megapixel. 5x optical zoom, 10x optical quality zoom with adaptive pixel sensor, up to 100x digital zoom. Front camera, 12 megapixel, f2.2 aperture, 80 degree field of view. Video recording, 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second. Battery and charging, the Ultra will pack a 5000 mAh battery with support for 45 watt wired charging, ensuring all day power and quick recharges. Software. Running on Android 15 with One UI 7, the S25 Ultra will receive an unprecedented seven generations of OS and security updates, future-proofing your investment. Connectivity. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.3, USB 3.2, Type-C, Dual SIM slash ESIM support, 5G with Wave and Sub-6 GHz support. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.